The interesting thing is GPU power is most of it. Networking power is some, but it's a lot less. But so while you're computing, your power for your GPUs is here. But then when you're exchanging weights, uh, if you're not able to overlap communications and compute perfectly, there may be a time period where your GPUs are just idle mm -hmm. and you're exchanging weights and you're like, hey, the model's updating. So you're exchanging the radiance, you do the model update, and then you, you start training again. So the power goes, mm -hmm. right? And it's super spiky. Yeah. And so funnily enough, right, like this... When you talk about the scale of data center power, right, you can blow stuff up so easily. Yeah. Um, and so Meta actually has accidentally opened so, uh, upstreamed something to code in PyTorch where they added an operator. And I kid you not, whoever made this, like I want to hug the guy because it says it says PyTorch, uh, it's like PyTorch.powerplant no blow up. <laughs> equal zero or equal one. And, the, and, and what it does, what it does is amazing, right? Yeah. Either, you know, when you're, when you're exchanging the weights, the GPU will just compute fake numbers. So the yeah. power doesn't spike too much. Right. And so then the power plants don't blow up because the transient spikes like screw stuff up. Well, that makes sense. I mean, you have to do that kind of thing. You, you have to make sure they're not idle. Yeah. And Elon's tough. solution was like, let me throw a bunch of Tesla mega packs and a few other yeah, things, right? Like there's, yeah. everyone has different solutions, but like <laughs> Meta's at least was publicly and openly known, which is just like set this operator. And what this operator does is it just makes the GPUs compute nothing so that the power doesn't spike. But that just tells you how much power you're working with. I mean, it's insane.